Hey everybody, what's going on? Happy Thursday. Welcome back to another Mindful Conversation. Today's guest with me is Michael Friant, who I am super grateful to share this space and time with. We had a live schedule today, but we had a little bit of technical difficulty, so we figured a Zoom would be better. And the beautiful thing about Michael is that he has cerebral palsy. And today, March 25th, is World Cerebral Palsy Day. And I thought that this would be an incredible moment for all of us to become better friends, better allies, and learn about something that is not commonly discussed. So again, please have um, some gratefulness in your heart, some open ears and some kindness as we share this time with Michael. And just so that everyone knows, Michael has a tool that will help him communicate with me while I ask him questions that we've kind of talked about already. And so just please give some space and patience as Michael takes his time as quickly or as slowly as he would like to answer the questions that we're going to go over to raise awareness around cerebral palsy. So hi, Michael. Hi. So we talked about raising some awareness and I'm really grateful that you are giving us your time today. So I just want to say thank you again for helping to educate people on something that is not commonly discussed. What is the biggest thing that you want people to know about you first and foremost? Who are you? What are your interests? How would you like to say hello to the world? Again, this is just a reminder to everyone that Michael is going to be taking his time to use a tool that he has, which helps him communicate what he wants to say. And this is a part of his daily life. So it's important that we all give this grace and space to Michael as he realistically shows us what life is like for him, which I think is important for all of us to also create more space so that we can build stronger relationships with one another and become, again, friends and allies. I am a full-time college student. I am avid traveler and runner. The biggest takeaway from this conversation is that I am just like you in my aspirations, though I may take extra time for some things. Mm. Mm. Absolutely. Again, just another incredible human out in the world looking to share their story, explore, make friends, feel seen and heard. I totally get it. So, Michael... I guess the first thing that I want to ask and that we kind of, you know, thought would be good to talk about with the world is how do you feel like your speech impediment affects your daily life, your interactions with friends, making friends?
So my speech impediment affects everything I do pretty much and it really hampers every interaction I have. People tend to shy away from conversing with me once they find out it might take extra time. Well, that's a bummer because in the months that we've gotten to know each other, I have found you to be an incredible source of inspiration, learning, and just a really quality guy. So I'm bummed to hear that, but know that this has been a part of your journey and I'm grateful that more people are going to hopefully start to think how they can create space that is open and welcoming to more people. Uh, so with this being Cerebral Palsy Awareness Month as well, because a lot of people don't even know that much, right? Like you told me that and I was like, I didn't know this. I know this is Women Histories Month. What are some of the biggest things that you hope to get people to understand about cerebral palsy in general? Physically, and then I guess, you know, in other ways as well, like what are some maybe misconceptions or just things that you hope to educate people on? My biggest hope is to make an impression on people that though you might be hesitant to approach me or anyone with CP, don't be, we have the same struggles as you but by your hesitation you are making it worse for us than it needs to be. Hmm. Such a good point. Such a good point. I think so many people shy away from people that aren't like them because they're afraid and they don't want to do something wrong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, um, I, I, I mean, I, I,
I welcome people who are open-minded and willing to go with the flow. One of my friends met me online and was open-minded and we had a great time together when we met in person. This friend didn't have all the answers and I am just glad that the time was taken by this individual. Absolutely. Yeah. All of us come with our own fair share of different things that we're going to have to figure out how to communicate with. Whether we have a speech impediment or we don't, or able-bodied or a person with disability or disabled. And I think it's so important to come open-minded to these conversations, regardless who you're going to meet, you know, as a friend. What have been the things that you think are important for people to understand that have been different for you during the pandemic that for other people, they haven't maybe thought about? I mean, you and I have talked about the Disabilities Act and how the funding for that's super low. We've talked about, you know, ideas of loneliness and how people have been even more 
difficult to kind of find time to hang out with you in real life. We all know that we all have more time on our hands because we are doing everything from home in most circumstances. So just imagine how much time I have due to the screwed up government laws for people on assistance and then think about how you feel. Multiple that feeling without the ability to go for a drive whenever you want. Hmm. would make me feel crazy a little bit. Like just being kind of do you ever feel like trapped or stuck? 
Yeah. I know that that would be really tough for anyone, but for someone who is, again, not able to go out on their own for that drive that you were talking about and like just get in a car and just cruise. Ugh, ugh. What about, uh, do you have something you want to say? Yeah. Okay. Um, Learned how to cope with it by looking forward to traveling one day. Mm. I know that you're very excited to travel even more than you already have because you've gotten to a bit, right? Yeah. 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 And, and then you're a runner. I don't think a lot of people would realize yeah. that you've done like a half marathon, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I have. I, uh, I have. I have another one in three weeks. One well, three weeks. Yeah. Damn, that's close. Are you excited? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Another half marathon. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Badass. I've never even done uh, a marathon too. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to do a full marathon one day? Yeah, yeah. No, thank you. Not for me. <laughs> um, okay, so in terms of it being cerebral palsy awareness month, what do you hope that more people start to do to be better allies, to become better educated, to become better aware of the things that we can all start to do to make this world more inclusive for everyone? You've mentioned giving space and, and being, you know, more patient with people. What are some other things that you think could happen or that you hope to happen? Just include us in activities. Absolutely, just being included. That simple, huh? <laughs> it sounds so simple, yet so many people are still struggling to realize that it's that easy, huh? <laughs>
can communicate. Don't let me do all the reaching out. Mm, absolutely. You know, I found that this is something a lot of people are feeling that it's very like one sided when it comes to relationships and that unless we're reaching out, we don't hear from certain people. And so as much as this is something I know you're feeling, I think this is something a lot of us can just do better in general in our relationships with the people in our lives, yeah. you know? Okay. Is there anything else that's like really important for you that you hope more people hear and understand? And the answer can be no. That's what we've talked about a few things on here. Okay. In that case, I have to ask you the question I always ask at the end of any of these conversations and that we've talked about before. What are your five gratefuls? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I am grateful for the beautiful weather. I am grateful I will be eligible for the vaccine next month. Thankful for those who do reach out. Thankful that we connected. Thankful that tomorrow is Friday. Yes, me too. And <laughs> hope that you get the vaccine soon. I'm ready for my yeah. when the time is ready for me. Um, until then, I'm happy that a lot more people are getting it ahead of me because I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm, 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 I'm,
I am definitely going somewhere this summer. Also I will be adding a link in my Instagram bio for an article I wrote about CP for my school's newspaper. Perfect. Perfect. So on that note, I want to encourage everyone to please, 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 please follow Michael. His handle is at Potential Fullest, P-O-T-E-N-T-I-A-L-F-U-L-E-S-T. Did I get that right? I got that right. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Um, again, and remember that we can all do our part in making change and amplifying stories and sharing stories. So please follow Michael share this video, share his content, share the video he made talking about CP and raising awareness for this month, but in general as well. And remember that being an ally and a friend doesn't just happen one day, it happens all the time. So do your part to reach out to the people in your life who you maybe haven't spoken to in a minute. I know that they'll appreciate it the same way Michael and myself do. And I'm just really grateful for this time that we got to spend together. So on that note, thank you, Michael. Yeah. Um, thank you everyone for taking the time and sitting in the silence and realizing that this is a part of normal for a lot of people and this needs to become a part of our normal. So much love to everyone. We'll see you soon. Bye, Bye everyone. <laughs> Bye, Michael. Bye. Bye.